Hey, welcome back my friends to another Sprinkler Supply Store product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and what we're gonna look at today is the Weathermatic Smartline controller. This is the model SL1600, and this one has the four station uh, base zones, and then you can add additional modules to it to expand the zone count. So let's flip the camera over and take a look at what is inside the box. Got to line it up here so it looks good. Awesome. Let's go ahead and open up the box. Cool. So what you can see is it comes with a manual. You may keep this, you may not. These are downloadable. I tend to not look at them until I have a question and then I'll just reference it later. Let's take the controller out. And then there's also in this box is a uh, quick mounting bracket for the controller and then uh, keys and some additional mounting hardware that you may find useful depending on what you're going to be mounting the controller onto. So first things first, let's take a look at the mounting bracket. This end up, that seems simple enough. What I would probably do is uh, take out your, your smartphone, bring out the level tool, level it up so that you're mounting it nice and square on the wall. And then it looks like you just screw it in. And then the controller has brackets on the back here that are ready for the controller to slide into. So that's it. That would be the e quickest and easiest way to mount the controller. If you don't want to use the mounting bracket, you do have an easy hang uh, screw placement here. And, uh, and that just makes it very, very easy. Okay. Next thing I notice is that it does come with a pigtail. That is helpful if you're going to be plugging the controller into a outlet, uh, either in your garage or outdoors. Keep in mind, if you're plugging this in outdoors, it should be into a GFI outlet with an in-use cover to keep water out of the outlet. And then let's see if this controller comes unlocked. It does, that's great. And again, it does come with a set of keys. Let's take a look and see what model key this is. Okay, perfect. This is the CH751 key. That means it's the very same key that uh, both Rainbird, Toro, and Hunter, and other manufacturers use. So if you have a Rainbird key handy, you can use it to unlock the Weathermatic Smartline controller. Awesome. So what I like about the Weathermatic controller is they have a lot of explanations on all their dial positions. The buttons are kind of rubberized. They feel uh, they feel, you know, sturdy. Uh, it's got a nice button press depress feel to it. And then, of course, we got to get to the good stuff, which is under the hood. I'm going to just go ahead and pop this open. And then let's take a look here. This most controllers, you can remove the face panel. So let's actually go ahead and do that. Just pry that back ever so slightly. And we will pop off the face panel. And uh, let's take a look at the back of it. What does it say here? We've got a battery, nine volt battery compartment for your battery backup. Right there. So you'd stick your nine volt battery down in this compartment and then hook it up like that. And then um, that uh, sort of, uh, I don't know if it's a nine pin, a 10 pin, but that uh, pin connector is what powers the face panel. So you notice there's no ribbon cable. A lot of controllers have a ribbon cable connecting the controller to the back panel. This does not. So it appears that when the front panel is closed, it sits nicely on this connection right here. So make sure when you do close your controller, if it's not, if it does, the display does not have power, make sure that you have it connected right there and uh, we'll just go ahead and set this over here for now so let's take a look at the inside of the controller first thing you can see is the rain sensor terminal and because there is a jumper wire in here that tells us that it's a normally closed rain sensor so if you're going to be hooking up a weathermatic uh, rain sensor or weather station uh, make sure you're using the normally closed wires the same thing would be for a hunter rainbird or toro or irritrol wireless rain sensor make sure you use the normally closed leads there 
Then you have a spot for your common wire coming from the field right there, COM. And then you have another spot for a pump or master valve. It looks like it's one or the other, just one terminal. And then it comes with a four station module built in, stations one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and remove this module. Take a look at it. That's uh, couldn't be any, couldn't be any simpler. These little tabs um, just push back. So when you put your wire in, it's kind of spring loaded. You push your push the tab back, stick the wire in, release, and they're spring loaded. And you can have up to four of them. So you would go from four to eight to twelve to sixteen station count here. Pop that back in. It looks like this is a one amp slow blow fuse. So again, if your controller is not working correctly, you may want to go ahead and check the fuse. This is what it looks like. You can oftentimes pick up fuses like this at a uh, electric store or even an auto parts store may carry fuses like this. It would just be important to make sure you get a one amp slow blow fuse. And again, that couldn't be really couldn't be any easier. Like uh, I like the design on that, how it's right here on the wiring harness. Okay. And then you've got your power coming in. So if you need to replace your transformer, that looks like it's very easy to do. And of course the Weathermatic controllers, we're going to go ahead and put this face panel back together. The Weathermatic controllers are the smart line that is are compatible with Weathermatic's smart link uh, cloud-based management system. So you can get an air card for this controller and you can connect it right up to Weathermatic's uh, smart link cloud-based management. And I think they carry cellular cards, which are AT&T, I believe, as well as Wi-Fi modules. So if you want to connect this controller to the cloud and operate it with your smartphone, your tablet, your computer, you can definitely do that. And uh, we'll save that for another video. But in this video, I just wanted to kind of do the unboxing, show you a little bit under the hood, show you kind of what you might need to know to hook it up. Um, let's see, let's take a look at the bottom. Did not show you that. There is one knockout already there. And then you can go ahead and knock this out. If you're using multiple conduits into the controller, it's ready to go. And then if you are going to hardwire this, you could uh, cut the, this is also known as a, as a pigtail. You can cut the pigtail off, put a junction box here and put your splice if you are going to hardwire the, hard the system to your 120 instead of plugging it in. So hope that gives you a little bit of an overview of the SmartLine 1600 controller. And if we can help you with any of your other Weathermatic questions you might have about their sprays, rotors, valves, controllers, little mini weather stations, sensors, air cards, we're happy to do that. And you can reach us by phone, chat, and email. So until the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling, my friends. We'll talk to you then.